becoming resentful because you're like, hey, these guys should use me. No, they shouldn't. Earn it. Earn it. Because then you'll be able to get it. So, What is going on, everyone? I am currently on my way to the gym, and I thought, hey, why not make a YouTube video while I'm at it? You know what I'm saying? Do a little, uh, kill two birds with one stone, as they say. I'm trying to figure out, I have a tripod set up in the car. We'll see how that goes. Um, this is my first time doing this, so this might all be scrap footage, but, uh, welcome to the video. I just kind of want to do a little bit of a vlog over to the gym, but kind of just give a basis of reality for all you, uh, New real estate agents, if you're just getting into it, maybe you said, hey, you know what, 2024 is gonna be the year that I become an agent. And um, that's great. I am not against you becoming an agent. I think it's awesome. I think it's a wonderful opportunity for the people that actually wanna work. And that's kinda of why I wanna make this video. Because of course, social media is highlight reels. You know that, everyone knows that. Social media is not real life. Um, I'm trying to get on social media and kind of show my real life. And guess what? It's been kind of a slow grind because I don't really put, I don't know, put special things on it. I tell it as it is. And guess what? Life can sometimes be boring and not that entertaining, but I give it to you as a real. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. And uh, I just kind of want to recap. Last year was my first full-time year as a real estate agent. My first year with EXP, not a plug for EXP, just saying I switched brokerages, I went to EXP, and I became a solo agent, meaning everything's on me. I have to do all of it. I have to create leads, I have to do the follow-up, I have to do the showings, I have to do the listings, everything. It's on me. I'm my own business, I'm an entrepreneur, self-made business. So, it's harder than you might think. It's pretty hard. Last year, like people don't talk about this stuff. I went at one point, I think I was at five to six months without a paycheck. Five to six months. Tell me how many people would uh, be living good without a paycheck for five to six months. And this is all I'm doing. Luckily I have rentals so to support myself and at least get me by with enough. But it can definitely be tough, especially when I see, like I used to work with someone at another brokerage that I was at they just quit a full-time job and jumped into real estate. Like if that's your plan, I just highly suggest that you take a second thought of it. Not saying don't do it, but just really think about it because it's not as easy as getting your license and you go and sell a home every two weeks, making six grand every two weeks and you're making over 10 grand a month. It's not all sunshine and roses. You're gonna have months, you're gonna have a couple stretches without paychecks and you kind of have to just grind through. And guess what? You're your own motivator, really, in real estate. Like, some people have team leaders, of course, and they have brokers that push them a little bit. But if you're in something like EXP, you have support groups. You have I have a bunch of great meetings I go to with people that are doing way better than me. So I'm learning a ton. But first couple of years are just, they're difficult. They're slow. It's not as easy as just getting into it and you're selling every day. I wasn't really under that impression. I knew it was going to be a grind. But it's definitely proven to be more difficult than I thought. Like last year, I put out literally at least a story. So I post, post on social media 365 days last year. I did not miss one day. And I started YouTube. I posted once a week, every single week. And this stuff just takes time because compound interest is real. Like it's kind of that thing with, uh, would you rather have a million dollars today or a penny that doubles every day for 30 days. And if you took the penny, at the end of the 30 days, you're at like 5.2 million or something. I forget the exact math. But like compound interest is a true thing. And it's the same thing with gym. And like really anything you put a lot of work into, it's gonna be, I was listening to a interview that actually sparked this idea with uh, Alex Hormozzi. And he was basically talking about the Rocky cut scene in the movies. In the movie Rocky, you know, the part where he's actually doing the work lasts what two to five minutes or something like that where that real life scene that's a couple of years that can be two to five years instead of two to five minutes and not enough people realize that 
So I just wanted to make this video to kind of give you the reality of it because everyone gets on social media and nobody wants to put their vulnerable shitty side on social media. Again, I'm trying to be real with you guys. It's not all sunshine and roses. Trust me, I wish it was. I'd be making a lot more money if it was. But right now, I know I'm in that beginning phase. I know I'm in that building phase. So I'm just trying to find what works for me, how I want to do business. Because like, yeah, there's different ways I could get business. But I'm really wanting to get business from social media. So I am putting everything right now into social media. I have a couple other sources like Facebook ads, um, certain things from EXP that kind of give me a couple leads here and there, nothing crazy. And then I also send out some mailers to people. I forgot those at the house. I was supposed to send those out. Crud. I was too busy for remembering the camera. Um, but I do those types of things. But again, it's not all sunshine and roses. Now, it is nice when you get a paycheck, but even that you have to be responsible for because guess what? You might go five months without a paycheck and then you get a nice $10,000 check and you're like, whoo I'm rich. Not really, not really. That just means you're making what? Like 1,700 bucks a month for the last couple months? You're, you're not rich. Um, so, my uh, goal this year is to average one sale a month. I know that doesn't sound like a ton, but I just wanna get my consistency in place before I really start saying, hey, I want two to three a month. I wanna first get the consistent one a month, 12 a year, that shows that, hey, I know where to get leads, how to get leads, now let's just double down on what works. So that's really what I'm trying. Um, I know this was kind of a ramble, but again, I've never done this, so I'm kind of driving and just letting my mind uh, take it where it may, while also holding the fucking tripod and uh, trying to merge onto a highway. Um, so, I hope you guys kind of enjoyed this video. Um, I want to do more stuff like this, where it's just like kind of not as much scripted stuff. I'm gonna still do scripted stuff, and I might actually get a video editor to help me out with some of that stuff, because I've been doing everything myself. So I know I'm kind of limited on my capabilities because I'm not the most creative person in the world and I'm the first person to admit that. So I'm gonna try improving my quality through getting an editor and then hopefully do something like these where it's just kind of more real life, real talk that I can kind of let you know what I'm thinking and how life really is as a real estate agent. Because again, it can be fun, but it's a lot more work than people think. A lot of people think, hey, I got a lot of friends they always seem to be buying and selling houses. But guess what? Just because you're a friend that goes and gets a real estate license doesn't mean that the other friend's gonna use you to buy a house. Chances are they won't. Because for some reason, friends are a little bit weird. Which I get. Some people don't like you knowing their financial background and all that stuff. So they think, you know what? Maybe it's best we just keep it a friendship. Hey, whatever works. Um, that's another thing. Don't come into this expecting sales from people. I think I did kind of do that when I first came into it and it almost gets you a little resentful because you're like, oh, what the hell? Like I've known this person my whole life and then they went and bought a house with this guy. I'm so confused. I almost just got hit by a big truck, but they had their left blinker on and I was taking a right. I, I don't know. Anyways, so don't have any of that stuff where you're like, becoming resentful because you're like, hey, these guys should use me. No, they shouldn't. Earn it. Earn it. Because then you'll be able to get it. So I'm going to probably end this here. I'm about at the gym. I don't have anything else more to add. Make sure to like and subscribe to help grow this channel. And if you like this, drop something in the comments below just saying it because I do want to be a little bit more real with you guys and just kind of show you a little bit more of my life. So I'm going to go get a great chest workout in, and you guys have a wonderful weekend.